Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Ali. If you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty with the Purpose. If you are new to my channel, I upload four videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. All right, so for today's video, we have a chit chat, get ready with us. And we're going to be never have I ever, I forgot the kombucha. We're gonna take a <laughs> shot of kombucha every time we've done so done something. So Yes, we take a shot of water. Yeah. <laughs> So, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get into this. I got my little lashy lashes. I got my little makey makeup. And while she's looking up the question, I'm gonna go ahead and start priming my face. Okay, this was funny because some of these questions are funny. Okay. <laughs> okay, so the first one is, never have I ever driven drunk? I'm like, first question. <laughs> Sleep a little, girl. All right. Okay. I used to drive drunk all the time. Like I used to be the designated drunk driver. <laughs> And I've only got, I only got pulled over once, but one time I was driving drunk and I hit the, one of them big orange construction cones, <laughs> like the big <laughs> cylinder ones. It busted my side view mirror, it had dented all the side of my car. <laughs> Ooh, so I was like, you do not think those cones could do that to your damage. car, boy. And it's like, now you see why they use the cones though. <laughs> yeah. Cause it busted up my poor little blue car. <laughs> but you know what? After that, it makes me wonder like, man, what, anytime I see a hit cone, I'm like, what does that person's car, car look like? like? <laughs> Y'all, I had to put my bump, like my fender back on. I had like the, the part <laughs> above my wheel was dented. Like I said, it busted in my little side view mirror and then the glass, the mirror was all cracked. I had to glue the mirror back onto my car just so it would pass inspection. Man. Boy. I'm going to finally try to use up like that teeny tiny bit. It's going to seem, you want to use this as a primer spray too so we could use it up? Yeah. Because <laughs> this is just taking up space in my collection because I'm not away, like I do not like to throw stuff away if I have not used it up. And this is worthless to give to somebody. Right. <laughs> they gonna get two uses out of it. Girl, I ain't grab no concealer. <laughs> I was sitting here looking like, okay, hold up. I have concealer you can use. Okay. All right, the second one was, never have I ever, never have I ever experimented to see my sexual orientation. Never nope. done that. <laughs> Never mind. I've dated different races to see my right. race preference. But never have I dated a girl to see if I yeah. like girls or guys. Yeah, I just kind of, I don't know. New, I guess. Yeah. Not only that, but you just kind of like, there's just something in you that knows that that's what, I don't know. I did, um, like I said, dated around to see what color of guys I liked, but I didn't. <laughs> Needless to say, I grew up. I think that's kind of a thing that you kind of just know, too. Yeah, I feel like it, <laughs> like you just like what you like. like. Yeah. Whatever you're drawn to. The next one was never have I ever said I love you to get laid. <laughs> no. I've never done that. I don't think it was ever that important to me. Right. And even then, I'm like, I would hate for somebody to tell me that they love me just to get in my pants like you know so I why would that's I do that more to of a somebody thing for else. guys than it is for girls like yeah. girls do not play about that L word unless they're just a complete little thotty <laughs> I was gonna say little B word but I don't cuss <laughs> <laughs> you know what like so you guys I do listen to secular music and most of the time I listen to it out of curiosity of what the mass like what they're trying to teach the masses and what they're trying to get the masses to follow so when I listen to the WAP song, like I'm sitting here listening to it and I'm like, not gonna lie, Cardi B be killing it with the beats on any of her songs. I think she has some of the best beats as like a female, a female rapper, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but the words to that song, I'm just like, okay. And then I was like, cause the only part that ever like really stuck out, stuck out to me that bob like, bothered me to the core where she was where she's like i don't cook i don't clean but let me show you how i got a ring right and i'm like and then 
Fast forward like a month later after the song releases, you find out she got cheated on. So obviously your WAP is actually whack. <laughs> like, whack ain't Gucci. <laughs> That's what the acronym is for. <laughs> but I stole that off of Chronicles of Judah, but still it's funny. Nonetheless, it's hilarious. <laughs> But anyways, like it, like that just goes to show you, like it don't matter how good your sex is, you, if you're not doing your wifely duties that God has called you to do, the way God made us and what He instilled in us, like that man's gonna always want more. He's gonna still like even if they're not in Christ, they're still gonna seek that godly woman without even realize that that's what they're seeking. Mm -hmm. That has always been a thing like that. I just never understood why or look girls ever bragged about. Yeah, or or looks in general, like oh, like my looks are gonna last forever. That's why I get men. Okay, well, there's always gonna be somebody prettier than you. Yeah. No matter how pretty you are, to somebody you're ugly, and to like to somebody else you may be ugly. For instance, I may be the baddest thing on the planet to to Brian walking around, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm, to somebody else I'm probably hideous and just just a behemoth. Like <laughs> that's just what somebody might think of Look me. At that beast right there. Yeah. So it's just like, <laughs> why do you depend on your looks? And on that, the Bible says your beauty is fleeting. So right. You're not gonna have your looks forever. Like, and nor is your coochie gonna work the same way forever. So right. What are you gonna do whenever you're 60 years old and it's a big drive? drive. <laughs> <laughs> you got that dap. Okay, don't use my <laughs> no, maiden <laughs> initials. <laughs> I'm so childish, but for real though, like I just, that one little sex never have I ever done sent me off the deep end. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so the next one said, never have I ever spied on my neighbor. <laughs> I'm like, I kind of have because some people be having some drama go on around <laughs> there. And we can show you like, oh, look, baby, look. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. We used to live, guys, the house that we lived in before here two years ago. <laughs> so if you go back a little bit of ways on my channel, we used to live in this duplex. It's where I first started doing my clean with me's. It sure is, huh? Yeah, so it's where I first started doing my clean with me videos. We live there, y'all. The pe <laughs> There was always a show for you guys. <laughs> Yes, the people that lived behind us whenever we first started living there, like, they would have some insane things go on. Like, one night I even had to call the cops because they were duplexes, but it was like, it was like a complex of duplexes, I guess is the best way to say it. Now, they weren't fancy, like, they weren't gated or anything, but, like, <laughs> y'all... So, one night, like, they were all, like, every weekend they were drinking, like, or even on weeknights, like, to the point to where, like, it used to make Brian and I mad because Brian's always had to work, like, at five in the morning. Like, he's always had to get up at five or by seven. I think the, the latest he was ever able to get up at this new job was seven to be at work by eight. And like, they would be drinking on random weeknights, mm -hmm. like blaring music, mind you, like these duplexes are only like six feet apart. Right. Like if you walk outside, they're maybe like six to eight girls. They're only like six to eight feet apart. So the back of our house, like the back of our duplex was facing like the front of their duplex. Like they weren't back to back. So I guess to give people more privacy, I don't know, but y'all, there was one night they were fighting and like, I guess their neighbors, so the people like that their duplex was connected to, like came outside in the middle of them fighting. And the guy was like, oh, what? You want me to pull my gun out? I start shooting. He's like, I'll start shooting everything up. And I'm like, wait, hold oh. up. Cause I got kids in this house. So I called the cops. I sure was the nosy neighbor that called the cops because uh, <laughs> you ain't finna be shooting up in here. Okay. But yeah, like that's just like one incident. There was one time that they were fighting and like you see them like so Brian and I used to always like 
We knew if we heard loud music to keep our eye out, <laughs> to learn how to peek out these windows, y'all. So there was one night that you could hear them fighting and it's like, oh, get out, get out. Da, 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 da. And so like, they're like in that house, cause they have their front door wide open. And I mean, these duplexes were small. So like, if you open the front door, like you could basically see the whole duplex just by opening the front door. And so like, you can see them like in there banging on one of the doors, like, oh, you need to get out of there. And I guess it's a couple in there. And so I don't know what happened between the couple, but I guess the girl's family like had a problem with the boy or whatever the case was. And they're like telling him to get out, get out. Well, they thought he went out the window. And so I told Brian, I was like, man, like, where is this guy? Like, we're watching this like it's a movie. Like, <laughs> I'm sitting there, I'm like, I wonder where he's hiding. Like, how are they not just busting down the door? Because none of the doors in the, those duplexes had locks. Right. So I'm like, so unless those people put locks on the doors themselves, like, they should have just been able to bust that door open. So I'm like, I wonder where he's hiding, like, that they can't find him. Because, like... All the duplexes were set up exactly the same. So I already know, like, there ain't very many places you can hide right. in this duplex. And so they're like, oh, he went out, he went out the window, he went out the window. So they, so like everybody leaves outside of that house. <laughs> everybody <laughs> leaves outside of the house and goes like to the street. And like two minutes later, this guy just jets out the house and runs towards the alley. And I mean, he's gone. And like, after that, like Brian and I died laughing. <laughs> that would have been hilarious to see. <laughs> and then, I, yeah, we just went to sleep and started buying our own because I was just like, boy, <laughs> he did that. Cause he sure did get away. Uh, I'm like, but where did he hide to have them thinking yeah, that he went out the and window? I'm, and I'm just like, how did they not open that door? Cause the doors didn't have locks. Like the bathroom door did, but they weren't banging on the bathroom door. They were banging on the bedroom door. Yeah. Uh, we had some entertaining times at that duplex. And then people used to just be walking up in our house. Uh-oh. There was one time that I had just got inside from bringing in the groceries. So I hadn't even had the chance to lock the door. And a little... And a little black kid just walked in the house and was like, where's so-and-so? I was like, little boy, you got the wrong... Like, first of all, do I look like any of your people? Second of all, can you knock? <laughs> just walk in the houses. Ooh. So people used to say, like, even if we were going to go right back outside, we started locking the door for everything. Locked the door so much. One time I locked all the keys in the house. Locked myself out the house. <laughs> We were so used to locking up them doors. No, but even then, that happened to us in our apartment on 98th Street. It was a three-story apartment. And this little kid, like, we heard somebody coming up the stairs. Our mom at the time was gone, so we thought it was her. We hear our front door open, and, like, we knock out, pretend like we're asleep. And I open my eye, all I see is a little white kid standing there. <laughs> So I was like, uh, can I help you? And he's like, oh, sorry, wrong house. And like, close the door and walk out. All, you didn't notice all the wrong furniture? Girl. Um, second of flight, you didn't notice the wrong paint on the building? Because those ones were painted different on colors. Our house? At our house. Ours were painted different yeah. colors, too. So I'm like, <laughs> how do y'all not recognize these things? Yeah. Insane, y'all. Lubbock is ghetto. I'm all, I guess our mom just taught us to pay close attention to detail. <laughs> our mom just taught us to not even run family's door. Right. And now our mom's the one that yells at family for knocking on her door. Like, <laughs> you don't just walk in? Well, we only used to get told to knock. <laughs> right. Yeah, I always knock when I go to my mom's house. Yo. Oh, what was the next one? Why well, we done been getting carried away with these story times. Girl, that's a, like, we can't do these because then we fly through the questions no. and then we get caught talking. Um, never have I ever doubted my heterosexuality. No. Never. Never have I ever made fun of someone. Oh, too many times. No, I stay clowning and not on strangers. Like, you can ask Destiny, like... I stay with the jokes. Um, he got quiet. <laughs> I remember one time. 
So Brian and I used to have our little green car. I don't think I was vlogging when we had our little green car. I don't think I started vlogging until we got our SUV. Mm -hmm. So anyways, we used to have a little green car and the seats were leather in it, but they were like the sand color, like the like not super light, like cream, but they were like not brown. So they were like a sand color. And well, when Brian does his hair, and he even does it to our pillows now, whatever hair products he uses and turns everything black. <laughs> like, I don't know what hair products he be using, but they just turn everything black. It's funny. And so, and the driver's seat, the headrest on the driver's seat, it was turning black. And so, Brian tried to be funny, and he was like, you probably got a dirty head and whatever you drive. You're getting the seat dirty. And I said, so wrong. I said, while you're playing, it's probably the black rubbing off the back of your neck. <laughs> he ain't never he ain't never clowned me without second guessing since then. <laughs> Don't do me, because I will get you back. Boy. <laughs> I ain't one of these crybaby clowners either. We can clown each other all day long. Just expect me to clown back. Girl, why is our eyeshadow almost the same? And we ain't even been looking at each other. Uh, all right, so this says, never have I ever watched Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Oh, so I gotta, take, I gotta take a drink. I watched it like whenever it first came out started but i was never whenever, obsessed with it like people were obsessed right with it. i'm like whenever kendall and kylie well kylie more so than kendall it was before everybody started getting their surgeries and lip fill yeah procedures whatever you want to call them yeah I'll tell you this, they did not look how they look now is whenever i was watching it it's the main one to me especially kylie girl I mean, homegirl had no lips. And what about Chloe? Aww. I just, the last episode I honestly ever remember seeing is whenever Kim was getting her butt x ray so that she could prove that it was real. <laughs> and to me, the fact that she had to do that just to prove it was real. You know, it's real, that's all that counts. <laughs> All right, like, why do you gotta prove a point to people? Never have I ever stole something with a higher value than $10. I'll just chug the whole water. Mm. Cause, y'all, we have some bad days. <laughs> I went to jail for stealing, so obviously it was more than $10. Never have I ever really liked a song by Justin Bieber. I got a drink. <laughs> I should just finish this because I like the whole couple albums. Or how about the time that I tricked you about the tickets? Man, that one right there really, ugh. <laughs> I'm so mad at her. Y'all, she was obsessed with Justin Bieber. Had all the shirts. She had every magazine with him on it. She had a Justin Bieber book. Who oh. even knew there was a Justin Bieber book? Right. A doll of him, and I had just got my first job, so I was like, Destiny came home one day. I was like, Sissy, guess what? And I told everybody, like, watch this. Nobody knew that it was gonna be a joke. And I was like, okay, so now I can tell you guys. So anyways, it was my first check ever. Like, 16, just started working. She was obsessed with Justin Bieber. She and I came, I turned in. <laughs> so I come home and I'm like, oh, Destiny, guess what, guess what? And she's like, what? Like, super excited, doesn't even know what I'm gonna say yet. And I was like, Justin Bieber's coming to town. I was like, and I'm gonna buy his ticket so we can go. Mind you, we live in Lubbock, Texas where nobody follows through with concerts. <laughs> this was the year he was going to. <laughs> She was like, oh my gosh, oh my. She like starts running around the house. I was so mean. <laughs> yeah, I thought now that you think about it, it was real mean, huh? <laughs> she starts running around the house so excited. And I'm like, just kidding. He's not coming. <laughs> She's talking about bawling. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> that was how deep. Oh gosh, it made me think of the Jonas Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> That's how much I'm obsessed with Justin Bieber. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Y'all know it's something else embarrassing. <laughs> So when we were both really young, I was I was still young, like you were like 14, 15 young. Yeah, so I was, you know, around the age to be obsessed with Joe Jonas. You know, Nick Jonas was a little cutie. Just I was we were obsessed with the Jonas brothers. Like, you know how you could buy those little magazines whenever you were younger and they would have like Kids Bop is what they're yeah, called. And you could uh <laughs> like they would send you picture like little posters, posters of Whoever was in them. Well, we had the Jonas Brothers ones. We took them out. We glued them to the front of a notebook. And we used to write songs. Hey, we were so ugly, man. We were so cringy. <laughs> Y'all just don't know. We used to think we was everything. Yeah. Nail polish creators. <laughs> I think we Singing tried through. everything besides makeup. <laughs> Scroll. Anyways, and so one summer, we were watching, I think it's whenever Camp Rock first came out. Mm -hmm. We were watching Camp Rock, and we were like in live, and we were like, oh, it's so cool. Like they're doing a concert, yada, yada, yada. We can be so cool. And then we found out they were going to Colorado, remember? Yeah. <laughs> But it was going to be after summer, right? After our summer break was over. Mm -hmm. Yo, why we have a break now? <laughs> Talk about. I don't even like thinking about. We started crying and I'd be like ugly Balling. crying. Ugly crying. Talk about we're never going to no. see the Jonas Brothers in concert. <laughs> Ask us now if we care. <laughs> oh. But at the time, our whole little world was tumbling down. Girl, crumbling. Our whole world was incomplete because we were never going to see a Jonas Brother concert. <laughs> I just said at this point, only to not even care. Girl, I think we should just, these never have I ever keep taking us into random story times. Mm. Never have I ever grabbed the wrong person's hand. <laughs> and I'm drink off because... Mm. So, you wanna do your story time? You go first. So, when we were younger, like, our aunt and uncle to visit every once in a while, so, the other way. So we used to always get excited when they would come. And we were all supposed to meet up at what we call Rudy's. It's like a barbecue place. And I'm telling you guys, like I was young, Go like, like preteen or early teen. And I walk into Rudy's. Go get your ABC toy. Cause mind you guys, we're, we're meeting them there. We're not all there at the same time. We're meeting them there. And I walk in and I'm looking for Theo to wait. And I find the first big black man. <laughs> and I went and gave him a hug from the office. I bet you that man was like, who is this? He didn't even turn around to see. And I was, but I looked around and I was like, awkward. And I just walked up. <laughs> Why do I not remember that? Because nobody seen. <laughs> I was so thankful that nobody saw. I gave you this palette so you could use it since I have one coming in the mail. But yeah, y'all. That's my... I didn't just grab the wrong person's hand. I hugged the wrong person from behind. Right. Never have I ever lied to my parents about being hungover. We know I didn't lie. True. I, well, I didn't lie either. I Well, I didn't ever... Have to lie. Yeah, have to lie because at the point where I was going out and drinking and stuff like that, my mom already knew. Now there was a time where I, I was, was okay, right? But, 
<laughs> right, but at least you do, I guess. Um, there was a time where I did get pretty drunk and then I was throwing up the next morning and she was like, yeah, you gonna drink again? And I looked at her straight in the face, yeah? <laughs> Let's talk about the time I got caught going to a party. Man. In high school. And I came home. Well, she brought me home from the party. And she was like, are you drunk? And I was like, and in my mind, mind you, like, I've always been honest, even in the midst of getting in trouble. Like, I was just always like, I can either get, like, I can either get in more trouble for lying and my mom finding out the truth later, or I can just take all the heat right now. So I was not a liar as a child. And I think my mom hated it because I was so bold. So anyway, she brings me home for this party. And I'm not acting drunk or sounding drunk or anything like that, but I was oh, drunk. Excuse me. <laughs> and she was like, are you drunk? And I was like, yes. <laughs> Extra drunk. <laughs> no, when you drunk, you don't care. <laughs> Girl. Boy, if that wasn't the hardest slap to my face that I never got. Slap kids nowadays get a whole CPS kid ain't thrown in jail. Hmm. Boy, I don't blame my mom though, cause I was a little bit too bold. Cause I wasn't honest. I wasn't honest just to be an honest person. I was honest to make you mad type of person. Uh -huh. <laughs> Allie was literally the truth hurts. <laughs> yeah. I was, I'ma tell you the truth just to hurt your feelings type of person. Not anymore, though. I be trying to be gentle about stuff, too. Like, that has been one of my biggest struggles in my walk with Christ. I'm always like, how can I approach situations more gently? Like a normal human being. <laughs> Could you let me handle it, Lord? Girl, we going in swinging. Not even then. I'm just like... That's why a lot of the times, like, if Brian and I get frustrated with each other, I just won't talk to him because I'm like... Just the thoughts in my head, I'm like, ooh, Lord, remove these thoughts. <laughs> this one says, never have I ever eaten food that fell on the floor. Boy. I'd have to try, I've been trying to teach my kids the five second rule right now. <laughs> I said, God made their dirt, don't hurt. <laughs> Girl, I didn't even have to teach my kids. Uh. What kind of lipstick do I want? This one is called Sunset Boulevard. Yeah, don't buy this stuff. Cause, I mean, like, buy it because it's good. But don't buy it because then you're going to use it all up in, like, one use. <laughs> it just feels so good spraying yeah, it on. This one's a full house. So, like, full house maybe a little bit much. Just a little bit. And then, obviously, here to slay. That's a bright red, y'all. Let's do Full House. I don't know. Yeah, we'll do Full House. Mm. Well, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got some laughs in with us. They you weren't just laughing at us. So, I'm going to be real mad, though. If I always get that uneasy feeling that I'm going to look at this camera phone. And it ain't even been recording. <laughs> that would suck. So I hope it is recording. But if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, go ahead and hit that subscribe button on my channel and on her channel, which will be linked down below and up above. Remember that I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.